Now I'm messing this one up so I really gotta get some more paint on there. I'm sure you guys will do a better job than me. Mm. That's better. All right. Let's do the middle one. In between. Okay, where do you think the next one should go? Yeah, right in between. Now, that's my not my best side over here, right? But I'm going to try my best. Just kind of lining it up. Okay, to work. My mom's going to like this no matter what. She's going to say, Mr. Steffish. She named me Mr. Steffish when I was little. Mr. Steffish, you do a really good job. Say, thanks, Mom. All right. All right, so I, you know what? I'm going to just kind of do another one on this one just to kind of make it about the same size because I made those other ones just a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to go back over to the other one, and I'm just going to make this one just a tiny bit bigger. I'm just pushing. There you go. I like that. Here, I'll let you look at that. All right. Okay. Now, that's my, I think, I feel that's my biggest mistake right there, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's okay. All right. What I want to focus on is my pattern. I got the green. I got the gray inside. I went white. I went back to green. So what color do you think I'm going to use now? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Either gray, gray or, or white, right? I'm probably going to go for that gray, and it's going to go in between these spaces. Now, I do have a kind of, so I can't get it right here, so I'm going to do right on the outside of these, right? And I'm going to make it, I'm going to go for the gray in a larger size now. So I'm going to dip the big, this size in here, okay? I'm going to go in between those sizes. Right there. All right. Oops. I really don't want to get in between. I want to get up a little higher. But I'm just kind of looking at it, see where I like it too at the same time. Oops. Need more paint. Oops. Almost done with that gray. All right. So check it out. I'll go zoom in a little closer. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Okay. Don't worry, mistakes. Can you can fix a few sticks later? Ooh, so pretty. All right. So take a look at the pattern. All right, let me wipe my, my stick off here so I won't get any paint in my cells. I'm going to put it down. What's my pattern now? I got the big green, I got the gray, the white, the gray. So what do you think should go here? <clears throat> you said probably a small white. I think you're right. We should do a small white. So I got to make sure this stick is clean first. Make sure it's wiped off on the very tip. I'm going to come back and put that small white in between. And I learned that this is really tiny, so I get a lot of paint on there. And I'm going to be going in between, right? Let's see. I think I'll start on my cross. I'll stick and I'll start on the cross lines right here, right? Let's do those cross lines. I can fill it in from there. So here, then it'll be here. What do you think? I can probably squeeze in another one. But I'm going to go through the cross here, here. I'm going to go over to this side and this one. Into the cross here. All right. Now, I'm going to turn it. So the next one should be kind of diagonal with the other one. And just you don't know if the diagonal is diagonal means across, so it's going from here to this one. So I'm going to go this one to this one, right? So I'm just trying to keep that pattern moving. Okay, and the next one should be about here, matching the other one. Right. See, now once I got that pattern, if I want to fill in with some more dots on the outside, I can, because keep on expanding out. Ooh. All right. All right. 
So I think you guys get the idea. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna jump ahead. <laughs> As you know, you're gonna keep on going. You can get your rock all the way to the outside and just keep on doing the art. I'm gonna do a little bit on the inside. I shouldn't do it right now because it's not dry. Okay, but I'm gonna show you what you do after you're done. Okay, this is when you're all done with your pattern on the outside. You're gonna go back, wipe your brush off or your stick off. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the tiny guy here, right? And I'm gonna say, hmm, what well, would look good? What's going to look good right here in the middle? Contrasting color, okay? I, I would say maybe maybe a white dot. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to get the white paint. Right, I'm going to go right in the middle, which is a little tiny white dot right here. There you go. See? Okay. So if I have a little tiny white dot in the green one, okay, I could put some more on the outside, but I think I'm going to wait and most how my pattern goes. And I'm a, I want to make these gray ones stand out, all right? And I think to make the gray ones stand out, I would think I want to use green right there instead. So I'm going to get the little tiny thing. I'm going to go here, little tiny, tiny on top of that green, on top of that gray with a little drop of green, just a little bit, if I can do it. Let's find out. Super tiny. But then remember, this is after everything's done. Do You go back and you can start adding in the... Ooh, look at that. Did it. Super tiny. Perfect. Just a little tiny. See, I got I got I got some good paint on there, but not a whole big bunch because I don't want a big glob on there. Ooh. And can you see that? Blood focus. Oh. Now I have two more gray ones to do. All right. Okay, so now, now I go for that white, this white one's right here, right? What should I do with the white, okay? <clears throat> what do you think? I think the white would probably use a green inside it, right? Do the opposite. So I'll go for a green and around all these white ones I can put a green one inside the idea is to keep that pattern going though okay don't be changing the colors oh shoot oh no Mr. Zevis what'd you do put the, put the thing in the wrong color alright <clears throat> alright so I think you guys get the idea Okay. Remember that the extra dots in the center are going to happen at the end. So you want to keep this pattern continuing first all the way outside. And then go back and you add the extra sizes. The little tiny ones, different ones inside. Got it? Okay. Do a good job. Have fun. And uh, hopefully your mom will love it so much that she'll um, let you stay up until like 12 o'clock playing games or something. And you say, Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you. <laughs>